Hi, I'm Allie Hamilton at yogisanonymous.com and I wanted to talk today about the idea of security and insecurity. And, you know, I think there's a lot of resistance for people when it comes to being insecure, feeling insecure, um, accepting what an insecure experience it is to be human. That is the truth though, right? Like, we don't know how much time we have. We don't know how much time the people that we love and how much time they have. We don't know what life is gonna put on the path in front of us. Um, we don't know what happens after this. We're not really gonna know until we get there. And so, you know, there's no way around <laughs> that truth, that it is a vulnerable experience. And I think the more um, you can open to that, and even invite that reality, the less you suffer. But what tends to happen for people is that it's just, you know, it's such an overwhelming feeling um, of being unsafe or not being able to count on anything that people start to set up these constructs or these routines or these, you know, ways that they can feel secure. And it could be just, okay, on Wednesdays I do this, you know, I go grocery shopping on Wednesdays and I buy these, these products and I go to yoga and I put my mat down in this spot and you know Saturdays I play soccer like whatever it is that you do you know you might notice that there's a desire to create some some steadiness some routine some, something you can count on and I think people do it in relationships as well they want to secure the thing and sometimes the desire to feel safe is so strong there's so much fear about being hurt or disappointed or left that um, it becomes like a prison, you know? And love is not a prison. It's the opposite of that. It's freedom, you know? It's, it's a foundation. Um, when, you, when you love someone, whether it's your child or your parent or your, your partner, you know, it's like you're seeing them clearly and you are accepting them, you're embracing who they are. Of course, everybody has stuff to work on, that's fine, but you're not controlling, you're not manipulating, you're not trying to manage their path. You're just seeing them as they are. That's what people want. They want to be seen, they want to be heard, they want to be understood, they want to be cherished. They don't want to be controlled, you know? And I think because there's such a, a desire to, um, to feel safe you can start to strangle the life out of your relationships. And then they don't, they don't blossom, they don't flourish. And that's a real shame because love to me, clearly best thing in the world, you know, best thing in the world while we're having this experience, however long we have, love is where it's at, you know? And so anything that you can do to free yourself up to experience it is, is the direction that you want to move in. And mostly, I think, the more you can embrace your own vulnerability and accept that and, you know, show up with bravery anyhow, love with your whole heart anyhow, the happier you're going to be while you're here for however long you have. And I really wish that for you and I'm sending you so much love. Namaste.